Sora. Sora was not like other children. While her friends played and ran through the streets of their oceanside village, Sora's eyes were always drawn upwards, watching the clouds drift across the vast azure expanse. There was something about the open sky that called to her very soul. From a young age, Sora became obsessed with flying, with slipping the bonds of gravity to soar like a bird through that endless blue realm. She read every book she could find on aviation and spacecraft. She constructed model planes and rockets from scrap materials, launching them high into the air, imagining herself aboard. Sora's parents indulged her passion, though they didn't fully understand it. Her father, a fisherman, felt more at home on the rolling waves than among the clouds. But he recognized that same adventurous spirit in his daughter that drove him to brave the open ocean each morning. On Sora's twelfth birthday, her mother took her to the shoreline and presented her with a tattered, dog-eared book. It was a memoir by a pioneering woman pilot from long ago. This belonged to my grandmother, she explained. I think she would have wanted you to have it. Sora poured over that book, hungrily devouring every episode from the aviator's life, letting her dreams take flight alongside the words on those well-worn pages. She vowed to herself that one day, she too would take to the skies and let the wind sing through her hair. She vowed to herself that one day, she too would take to the skies and let the wind sing through her hair. The years passed, and through relentless hard work and effort, Sora made her dream a reality. She earned her pilot's license, aeronautics degrees, and eventually became a fighter pilot in the Air Force. Soaring at supersonic speeds in her state-of-the-art jet, she finally felt that elusive sense of unity with the boundless heavens she had craved since childhood. Yet, even after achieving her lifelong goal, Sora looked upwards towards the stars, wondering what adventures still awaited her among those distant worlds. For this wind-tossed sky child, the journey was just beginning.